Lucky me, I now get to quiz Gordon Wagoner, head of design at Daimler. Gordon, how are you doing on this very special day today? Very good and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Why don't we start off by explaining once more what concept IAA actually stands for exactly? Well, concept IAA not only stands for International Auto Show, it stands for Intelligent Aerodynamic Automobile, which that one is here. So uh, we basically combined the two things out of our philosophy. We combined the intelligence of making a very aerodynamic world champion record car of 0.19 drag on one hand, with a beautiful, stunning uh, four-door Gran Turismo silhouette that is super sleek, stunning, and sexy. What is the vision, or what was the initial vision behind the car we see here today? Well, the initial vision is, of course, it's a concept to have a four-door Gran Turismo, which again is very stunning, very beautiful, very sexy on one hand, but achieves a phenomenal world record drag of 0.19 with active measures, and combine both, and that was the test. So why don't you walk me through those key features design-wise when it comes to the concept sure. IAA? Of course, yeah. Where do we start? Anywhere you like, maybe in the front. Yeah, the front. Um, well, there's a couple of aerodynamic uh, measures you probably talked about already, active spoilers that pop out. The main thing is in the rear, this active spoiler that actually extended the rear another 40 centimeters or so achieves that drag. Uh, but uh, let me start from a um, design point of view, and all design starts with proportion. So we're looking at a great Mercedes uh, Gran Turismo, so the windshield is very far back. We have this fast back. Uh, the cabin is tapering. We have huge shoulders, so it's a very impressive, sexy shape that goes very much in line with our big uh, coupes, like here, the S-Class coupe, for instance, um, and all our historic coupes. And the cool thing in our philosophy is we're inspired by, let's say, 1930s Art Deco streamlined design. And um, this is what, in fact, makes not only aerodynamic, it also makes it beautiful. Uh, we have the cabin tapering, again, that creates huge shoulders. The car inside view looks like a designer sketch, has very small greenhouse, um, high belt line, you know, huge wheels, uh, wheel arches and stuff like that. So it's very expressive on one hand, but the cool thing is we achieve it without any line, you know. So this is our philosophy, essential purity, you know, doing something that is really emotional, really beautiful, uh, but very clean and tacky on the other hand, you know. So, yeah. So Gordon, given so many beautiful details, this is probably hard to answer, but what is the feature you are most proud of as head of design? Well, as head of design, you're obviously always most proud of the whole thing, you know, the combination, how everything comes together, the entire concept. Again, the proportion that is so radical and stunning. Um, and last and least, we must not forget about the interior, you know, because that is also a revolution in itself. And um, the cool thing is what is in this revolutionary concept car today. You can soon, very soon, in a couple of months, uh, see on the street in one of our new products. Which one of the products? We are not saying that yet. <laughs> How long did it take to develop this one? Let's start here. How long did it take for you to develop the design of the concept IAA? Uh, Dita talked about it in the press conference and it was about nine months due to, you know, um, support of uh, digital tools, you know, which helps us to speed up the process. But again, uh, we always need a clay model that's the reference for the shape as we mm -hmm. sell real cars and not virtual cars. Yeah. What might have been the greatest challenge or the greatest difficulty since this is the perfect combination, as you say yourself, of beauty and aerodynamics? The most difficult part for us as a designer is to obviously come up with something new, something you have not seen before. And you know, what is cool, you know, and the definition of cool is in fact, I've never seen it before. When people say, oh wow, well, this is cool, you know, that basically means that I've never seen it before. And then on the other hand, it's about um, emotion, you know, and what I said, it's like, I want to fall in love, you know. Yeah. I, there's a sheer beauty and I want to fall in love. And this car embodies these two aspects of our design philosophy as its best. And, and so uh, define really modern luxury Mercedes stands for. Now you said in a couple of months we will be seeing some of these design details on the streets, if I understood correctly? Uh, of the interior. The interior is very close to production, uh, not only the overall shape, um, but also especially uh, the HMI concept. So we see the big screens in there. Uh, we see first time touch pads in the steering wheel. So you can operate with one touch pad, you operate the left screen. With the other touch pad, you operate the right screen. Additionally, you have a touch pad in the center. 
and of course as a whole interaction, new interaction system on these three screens, which shows the next level of user interface design at Mercedes. So is it safe to say that in the near future we'll be seeing a lot more of what the concept IAA represents here today? Yes, of course. Yeah, you know, this is what our concept cars are, are made for. Uh, we did uh, uh, autonomous driving F15, which kind of showed the future of the year 2013, you know, so a bit further beyond. This car is a little closer, let's say about five years or so, and the interior is less than five months. That's all I wanted to hear. I wanted to make sure we don't have to wait too long for that. So thank you. <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you, thank Gordon. You have a great much. day. Thank you. thank you. Take care.